Good morning people, it is very early on a Sunday morning and I am going to do another what I eat in a day. And the first thing I'm going to have is a cup of tea and get back into bed. So <laughs> let's make a cup of tea. First, I'm going to make some baked oats. Feels like it took about three hours to make, but here's my baked oats. I'm gonna go and eat these with my coffee. Right, I woke up about <laughs> three hours ago and I'm still in my pajamas and I haven't washed my face or anything yet. So I'm gonna go and do that. And then I have some life admin to do. So I'm gonna go and do that. I need to get my video ready for this afternoon. I need to do some girl guide stuff because I'm a girl guide leader and I'm also a district commissioner which just means I've got some extra responsibilities and I've got some tattoos to rebook which is very exciting so I'm gonna go and do that and I will probably see you at lunchtime. So for lunch, I've got this, uh, it's like a spicy sausage pasta. It's technically a Jamie Oliver pregnant pasta, but I've adapted it to put vegan sausages in it. So yeah, it's just pasta, um, Linda McCartney sausages, carrot, celery, tin tomatoes, spring onions, fennel, oregano. It's really, really good. And depending on how much pasta you put in it, actually quite balanced as well. So I'm obviously going to put a ton of nooch on it because I am a vegan stereotype and I've got some of this grated cheese stuff which is just sort of like garlicky, almost like parmesan style. That's the, uh, that's the last of that, so that's my lunch. And then just to finish off my lunch, I'm gonna have this, one of these clear proteins and some clementines. And that'll be me done until tea time. I needed to do some cardio today and I am having a little break, a little break from running at the moment. So instead, I did some fitness martial. Uh, I did 33 minutes of that, so it doesn't get my heart rate up as much as a run, but it's better than nothing. And I had two Brazil nuts as a <laughs> as an intra fitness martial snack. Uh, we are having wraps for tea, which I think I've made on here before as one of my high protein meals, but I've basically loved it ever since I did my Greg Doucette video. So I will show you that in a bit, but it's just gonna be some wraps, some seitan, probably with this fajita seasoning, lettuce, avocado, cucumber, I might put some peppers and onions in it and that will probably be it but I'll show you when it's done. So 
that is me all done for the day. I did have a bagel thin with some Biscoff spread on the top, which oh, is just delicious. I've got three weeks left of this challenge and the like first three or four weeks were, first three weeks were amazing and I did really well. Arguably the first four weeks though, because I was in a deficit for a week before, but this last couple of weeks, I'm just finding it so difficult to stick to my calories. Like if it wasn't for this challenge, I'd probably be having a diet break right now because I'm just finding it almost impossible to stick to my deficit calories. But we'll keep trying. I need to, I need to focus in on fat again because I wonder if that is what made the first couple of weeks so much easier. So I'm gonna try and dial that back in tomorrow and we'll see how we go. Hope you have a really lovely week and I will see you soon.